My name is Raven Jackson, and I'm a writer and director. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee, which is an hour from Nashville. I grew up with my parents going fishing in early mornings with my sister too and we fish on the Cumberland River and I remember especially catfish I have such a love for and affinity for and just being close to nature has always been a big part of my life. And now as an adult I look back on those moments going fishing with my parents and hearing them talk about stories that they have of their own childhoods in the American South of going fishing and being around nature and being around animals and I realized that those stories drove me first to poetry and then to filmmaking. In my poetry, I'm very interested in capturing certain moments, certain details, getting under the skin, trying to evoke a certain emotion. And I'm grateful that I studied poetry and writing first because that's where I found my voice. When I started out, Making films, I knew what interested me, I knew what resonated with me, I knew what types of emotions sat in my belly and I wanted to like unpack that in future work. And so when I came to film, I didn't necessarily have the tools yet or the filmic language to talk about certain things, but I very much so knew this is an emotion I'm interested in exploring and living inside for a certain amount of time. When I was writing Nettles, I really wanted to explore moments we think of years later, even if we don't know why. Ones that stay with us like a thorn in our side, moments with teeth. That's really like what drew me to making this film. When I first wrote the film, I called them micro shorts. But then after sitting with the project more, I realized these chapters actually speak to each other. In the same way, you read a book of poetry and every poem is intentionally placed where it is to build an emotional experience for the reader. I recognize that in each chapter there is some type of body part, whether it's, you know, hand, eye, back, that I could use to be a linking thread. Some of them were more obvious, others it was like, okay, what is the emotion I'm going for with this chapter and what body part speaks to that? but it really was an organic um, find, like that they each wanted to be named a certain body part. I thought it was a beautiful way to link everything together. It was important for me in making this film to work with a diverse range of women, different ages, different backgrounds. I knew I wanted to specifically work with black trans women, I was really interested in showing the many layered aspects of these girls' and women's lives. For chapter three feet, it was a very interesting casting process. Then that chapter, a young girl is approached by a, a man, a stranger she doesn't know, uh, as she walks home alone. And it was surprising, but not surprising, that literally almost every single young girl I auditioned said, oh, I've had that experience. Uh, that just ha or that just happened two days ago. Yeah, you know, that was really scary. For me, the character, that's the first time that she realizes that safety isn't guaranteed. These are like, quote unquote, small moments, but I feel like those moments can have a lot of you know, ripples. <laughs> and the fact that I still remember, like, when I was very young and when someone may have approached me, that has stayed with me. Like, I'm most interested in the ways we communicate to each other without words, through gesture, through movement. <laughs> Every short film is a lesson because you're always learning, but Nettles feels like me in a way that none of my previous short films did. I'm so grateful I made this film because it really does feel like the project I needed to really honor my process and learn my process and play and fail and try. I think beyond anything else, Nettles feels like mine because I trusted myself in the making of it. I trusted myself in how I wanted to play with structure and I didn't question that. With this film, I wasn't interested in creating a plot point A, plot point B, 
short, I really wanted to make an evocative viewing experience for the audience and hopefully to make it a, co a cohesive one. 